is the KTLA 5 News at 6. And locally, a benefit was held today to support affordable housing for older gays and lesbians in the community. Several celebrities were on hand for the event, billed as the 2009 Garden Party. The organization is proud of building the first such complex in the country. We build uh, affordable housing. It's the first units, our 104 units for seniors 62 and over. And um, it's the first one in the country, so we're really excited about it. And this is a place for low-income individuals to get the support that they need. The event included a silent auction with a variety of items, including artwork. Well, winter. Locally, a benefit was held today to support affordable housing for gay and lesbian seniors in the community. Several celebrities were on hand for the event, billed as the 2009 Garden Party. The organization is proud of building the first such complex in the country. We build uh, affordable housing. It's the first units, our 104 units for seniors 62 and over. And um, it's the first one in the country. So we're really excited about it. And this is a place for low income individuals to get the support that they need. The event included a silent auction with a variety of items, including artwork. Now, this is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Gigi, thank you. A garden party in Hancock Park helped promote affordable housing for gay seniors. A cocktail party, silent auction, fashion show, they were all held to benefit gay and lesbian elder housing. That's a nonprofit group that built an apartment complex for lesbian and gay seniors, the first of its kind in the country. Lisa Gibbons and actress Sharon Gless were among the celebrities who were honored for their contributions to the gay community. Well, before government.